doing? Monica here and welcome back to my channel and before I get into this I have to say sorry for the woodpecker noise. There are like two woodpeckers up there just pecking away so I'm sorry if you can hear that but hey you gotta film when you gotta film. So anyway in episode three of my wardrobe basics sewing tutorial mini series I'm going to be teaching you how to make a summer staple which is this tank top. This is probably the easiest tutorial I've ever done on my channel so this is perfect if you're a beginner or if you just want something super quick and easy to sew up. So I really hope y'all enjoy this tutorial and if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and as always if you make this or any of my other tutorials make sure to use the hashtag comicatcreations or tag me on Instagram or send me an email with your photos because I have so enjoyed seeing all the pictures of your creations. Y'all are super talented and it really means so much that you take the time to send me the photos so keep up all the amazing work because y'all are awesome. So anyway let's go ahead and get into the tutorial and and let's get sewing. To make this project, you'll need up to a yard of a stretchy knit fabric, and this is a great project to use remnants on. I actually used the leftover fabric from a romper I made last year, and you'll also need a tank top to use as a template. To begin, fold your tank top in half down the center, and this will be your template. Fold a portion of your fabric over large enough to fit your tank top and make sure that the fabric will stretch in the direction I have the arrows going which is perpendicular to the fabric's fold. If you're using a striped fabric you'll want to make sure the stripes are lined up evenly. Lay the tank top onto the fabric so that the fold of the tank top lines up with the fold of the fabric and pin it into place. Begin cutting your top out along the shape of the neckline and make sure to cut at least a half inch larger around all the edges to allow room for seam and hem allowance. Continue cutting along the shoulder, armhole, and side with that half inch extra, although because I wanted my tank top to be a bit looser fitting than my template, I cut about an inch and a half larger along the side. You'll also need to cut a half inch lower than your desired length, but my template was a bit longer than I wanted, so I just folded the bottom up to the length I wanted and then cut a half inch lower to get my ideal length. When you remove the template and unfold your fabric, you'll have a shape that looks like this. So you'll want to use it to cut out a second identical tank top, although you can adjust the necklines if you want the front and back to be different. And make sure both pieces stretch this way. Lay your tank top pieces together with the correct sides of the fabric facing together and pin and sew along the shoulders and sides with a half inch seam allowance. Since we're using a stretch fabric, you'll want to use a ballpoint needle and sew with either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch, either of which will allow your seams to be stretched when you stretch the fabric. I used this triple stretch stitch on mine, but you could test a few stretch or zigzag stitches out on a scrap of your fabric to see what works best for you. At this point, you should try on your tank top to make sure it fits well. This area underneath my arms was a bit loose, so I decided to take it in because if you're taking the time to make your own clothes, you want them to fit perfectly. So to take it in, I stitched in the amount I needed along the underarm, then I trimmed outside that seam, and I used the piece I cut as a guide to cut the exact same amount off of the other side. Then I sewed that seam in, and finally since there was a bit of extra stitching left, I just used a seam ripper to remove those stitches, and now my tank top fit much better along the sides. I also decided to trim the front neckline down a bit more. Now to hem the neckline, make sure the tank top is turned inside out, and fold the raw edge of the neck over about a quarter of an inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch so that the raw edge is trapped inside, and pin it down. Keep double folding and pinning along the neckline, and when you get to the shoulder seams, you'll want to open up and flatten out the seam allowance before double folding so that it lays flat. Continue double folding and pinning all the way around the front of the neckline, and once it's done, you'll sew to secure the hem. You'll want to sew the hems with either a stretch or a zigzag stitch, but because the hems are visible, I like to choose a more decorative looking stretch stitch like this one so that it looks really nice. And since you're sewing around curves, really take your time and try not to pull on your fabric much. Just guide it through the machine carefully. Once you're done, you'll have a neatly finished neckline. 
You'll hem the armholes exactly the same way, so fold over the raw edge of the armhole twice, a quarter inch at a time, pin it into place, and then sew the hem with the same stitch you hem the neckline with, and repeat with the other armhole. Finally, you'll just need to hem the bottom edge of the tank top, so repeat that process of double folding, pinning, and sewing, and you're all done with your very own tank top, which is so easy to make. Thank y'all so much for watching, and have a wonderful day, and enjoy the bloopers. Bye, y'all. Gotta wait for the noise to die down. Now it's a woodpecker. Come on, I need quiet. Woodpecker, who you keep me up in the morning, you keep me up at night, and now you keep me from filming my videos. Uh, is that a second woodpecker? Are you kidding me? Blah. Because it's blah, blah.